Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Linda Reyes and today I'm doing something just a little different. With Valentine's Day fast approaching, I wanna give you some ideas on how to set up your table for a nice stay at home dinner. I am all about going out, but sometimes it's nice to have a more private, intimate dinner at home. If you are on a budget or hosting a dinner party, or if you have kids, this will be a great way to start the evening. If you want to see how I put this together, please keep watching. If you love this video and haven't done so yet, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. To start my table off, I began with my centerpiece. The centerpiece is always the eye catcher. It helps bring the table together. For my centerpiece, I used roses. I put them in a vase I already had. To elevate the look, I used some gold wire ribbon, tied it into a bow. With the access ribbon, I used my rolling pin to help mold it into a spiral. Using my fingers, I kind of played around until I was satisfied with how it laid. You can use whatever floral arrangement you like or none at all. There are so many different centerpieces that you can use. Let me know in the comments below what you are planning on using or what you've used in the past for your centerpiece. Moving on to the rest of the supplies I used, a lot of these items I already had laying around so it kind of minimized what I needed to buy in addition. You'll need a tablecloth any color of your choosing, some place mats, some candles, these I got at the dollar store, some candle holders, Some rose petals, these I believe I got at Michael's. They normally have sales or coupons that help. As far as the plates, I utilized what I already had, which were these cute little square plates and these heart-shaped plates. I found those at Walmart. I thought that would be cute to put on top of the gold square plates. I also have these gold napkin holders that are really fun. And then I have some napkins. I bought the larger size at the dollar store that we're gonna to utilize to make our roses, which I'll show you later. You will need some quartz screws, which I've used these before, so they're already cut and slit, which I'll show you more in details later. The next couple of items are completely optional. I have some Valentine cards and some box of chocolates that we're gonna use as nameplates later. For the silverware and napkins, you can also use cloth napkins. Unfold the napkin, fold into a triangle, roll the silverware starting from the corner and add the napkin ring. Now for the finishing touches. These napkin roses are so cute and very easy to make. You'll need a wine glass or small cup and about six napkins depending on the width of the cup you are using. Grab your wine glass or cup and one napkin. 
grabbing the napkin by the corner, you want to insert a portion of that corner into the cup like so. Press down creating a crease. Grab another napkin. We're going to repeat the same step each time we're going to move the wine glass just a little. Keep repeating the same steps over and over until we've made a full circle around the wine glass. Once we completed the full circle, flip it over and gently pull the wine glass and voila, you have a perfect napkin rose. If you like to go that extra mile and add name tags to your table, you can use the corkscrews by cutting them in half and adding slits to them so that you can slide a name card right in there. Or you can also use a Valentine card like I'm doing and a little chocolate box just for fun. Now your table is set. How adorable is that? I hope this video has inspired you to create your beautiful dinner table for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. If you love this video and haven't done so yet, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!